Well hello gamers and welcome back to the channel, Mezzo here. Uh, a very excited Mezzo because today I'm going to bring you something that I have been really looking forward to. A game that is called Barrow Trauma. Now I haven't, I've been watching this for a while and I haven't done a video on this yet because a couple of things kind of scared me off about it. It's still in early access. Um, the devs are doing, uh, Fake Fish are doing an incredible job developing this game. Really listening to key to the community and I just love independent developers that, uh, that do that um, and as I said I love independent games because of the creativity and the innovation they bring to the industry and, and Barotrauma is a classic example of that. It's essentially a, um, a sub game, a sub sort of management game but it's got lots of action in it as well and I'll get into all that later and we'll, we'll have a closer look at it but what I was saying is I've been watching it for a while but not playing it because a couple of things scared me off. Um, first of all, the, the solo player element of the game was kind of um, unfinished. It's probably not fair because it's still in early access, but it needed a lot more development and the campaign element of it still had a lot of work to do. Anyway, they've been working on that and this latest update, New Frontier, in my opinion, has nailed it. This is a game that solo players can definitely play now. and I'm going to demonstrate that in a different uh, set of videos when I play through the game, uh, play through the solo campaign. And if you're interested in that, um, feel free to uh, feel free to drop in on those videos, and I'll be doing a lot of those uh, coming up shortly. And if you're keen, maybe subscribe and uh, uh, get some notifications for when those come on. Okay, the other part of the game that scared me quite a bit was uh, well, scared is probably too strong a word, but that was a bit intimidating was the multiplayer. Um, part of this game looks incredible and in fact I've had a couple of goes since the update and it's been a huge amount of fun but there was a lot of griefers. Griefers are the toxic awfulness of our community that just really brings down amazing games like this and it seems like through careful selection on servers and also a maturing of the community you can actually get a decent game now without, without griefers um, uh, ruining everything, ruining the fun for everyone so I've been enjoying that as well, been playing with a few guys in the States uh, met some Aussies as well, which has been great. So uh, the community is definitely developing, um, and I might I might show some multiplayer games later, but I'm going to focus on the on the solo campaign. Now the purpose of today's video is um, to show you primarily, or just give you some very basic tips. The game does a very good job of tutorials for the characters, and I'm going to talk about the guys here. We've got them on the. Uh, got the basic characters on, on the top left corner here. Um, I'm going to talk about how to use them, uh, maybe some very basic tips about when you start the campaign and then if there's interest I might do a different um, session about the various equipment um, and so forth. So I'm just going to now walk you through the submarine. Now there's tons of submarines. A really cool part of this game is that you can uh, the community excuse me the community can develop their own subs and you can download those and play yours for yourself. The one I'm going to show you today is Dugong, uh, and uh, it's basically the first sub that you start the campaign in. So for those of you that don't know anything about the game, it's basically you get this sort of side 2D version of a sub. Um, you're on the moon, a moon of Jupiter, not the moon, there's loads of moons on Jupiter, a moon on Jupiter, which I think is actually true, it's an ice moon, and the, and the sort of the law is that you're, you're, you're under the ice, and there's this world of, um, of horrible beasts, frankly, that, um, that, that floats around, and you've just got to conduct missions, so pretty basic, you know, go fetch missions or deliver missions, um, but also something that's really cool is you can get into wrecks uh, in your diving gear, and, um, Oh, and explore those but I'll show you that when I do the campaign for now I'm just gonna as I said give you a very basic tutorial so what I've done here is you just uh, when you when you dock and we're in uh, city of salt hole sounds pretty nasty no one wants a salty hole uh, you, you, you you stop in at these these sort of um, stations and they can give you missions you can buy equipment and so forth uh, but that's all pretty confronting there's a huge amount of this game it's complex and as I said um, I might do more tutorials on stations separately, but today I just want to show you the submarine and, and what the characters do. Oh, whoa, you've got to watch those doors. They come down your head pretty nasty. So you've got a lot of cabinets in this, and you can store equipment. Um, I haven't really gone into uh, moving stuff around on this sub yet, but I will do later. I think a very good first tip is to use this one as your sell cabinet. So bring all the stuff up here that you want to sell. It gets nice and easy, and you can just 
when you jump onto a station you can just put it off here and, and sell it and, and buy other gear you can improve your sub buy more gear uh, whatever you want to focus on makes a lot of sense fire extinguishers we'll talk about those later plenty of storage these are the drive these are the dive suits uh, you need those when you're exploring lockers and there's an oxygen tank here now oxygen is super important as you can imagine being locked in a metal can under the sea you are going to need oxygen so when you use your oxygen up you can bring them to this thing here which is the oxygen generator and it will refill your tanks a lot of micromanagement in this game but absolutely love that now while i'm down here i said i was going to show you around the sub this is the engine room and here's the uh here's the reactor here it's basically a nuclear reactor uh nice and safe um, and in that you put a load of uh, fuel rods and that uh, that charges you around the uh, bottom of this uh, planet under the ice. So you could put supplies in here, maybe some medic supplies that the engineer might need. Definitely use that fire extinguisher. And we put the fuel rods and um, electronic equipment in here. And I'll talk about that more in a minute for the engineer. Um, going across, you've seen the uh, oxygen room over here. Huge amounts of electrics. Coming to that later. Now over on this side, and I said this is the basics, but it's, it's, a, it's a great little sub for learning the ropes. Uh, you've got the medical area here, so we've got a ton of medical stuff in there and some on the floor which kind of randomly just stayed with us from another mission that I've done. I'm probably about four or five missions into this campaign, but when I start the, uh, the missions, um, uh, the solo campaign uh, to broadcast for you guys, I'm going to restart so you can see it right from the beginning. And here's the armory, this is your coil guns. Uh, and then you've got you can keep guns and riot gear and stuff in there uh, and obviously some pistols and SMGs so a good amount of weaponry in this I love it because you can get bored in this game the, the creatures don't just stay on the outside of the subs nasty little buggers uh, now I did mention coil gun ammo a minute ago so another thing you can do in this game is you can man guns on the outside of the submarine and shoot anything that's coming at you which is awesome uh, and you've got to reload the guns here and there's a load of separate supplies there and then back into the main room where I started the uh, tour but didn't mention this is a navigation terminal and this is basically if you're the captain this is how you control um, your ship now I use it a lot in autopilot as you'll see when we do the storyline but you can also see your various uh, rooms um, so you keep a, an eye on what's going on in all of the sub we're connected to the uh, through the airlock to the main base above us the city of salt hole and you can command your crew around here and do other stuff which is all cool but we're not going into that or navigation today or pinging active and passive we're going to cover that when we start playing through the campaign so not wanting this to be a long video let's quickly get into the um the crew as i mentioned in solo campaigns you need to control your crew and there is an element of micromanagement to it but it, so far i haven't found it to be too burdensome because the way of giving orders is is so easy and it works really well i think they've done a great job designing this old fake fish so uh, i'm playing with um i haven't worked out how to pronounce the name erich um i've got leah Mil who is the engineer uh, sorry the electrician i've got milton who's the mechanic i've got timur who is the medic and i've got trista who is like um uh, security now, when you're playing the solo campaign, my recommendation would be to, you've got to hire these guys. I think you start with two or three, including the captain, uh, probably just two, including the captain. And you've got to hire um, other uh, individuals. Of, I think you should start with the captain, the electrician and the mechanic. You want to get the medic and the security guy or girl as soon as you can. Um, they're the basics and I'd work towards that as quickly as possible. Um, you really do the more people you've got on your sub the better but the lovely thing about having this crew is you can they can all have specific jobs uh, which makes just the the sort of fetch and deliver missions that much easier which you really want to be starting on when you start the campaign wreck diving can be a bit risky as I found out um, uh, and obviously you want to get into that that's exciting but just build up a bit of cash first to get these uh, these core complements of crew um, and maybe maybe improve your sub a little bit buy some extras sell some stuff you don't want and you're off and running but again I'll cover that stuff in a different tutorial for now let's just talk about the crew and the command of them so I'm still in the station but I'm gonna get Leah of course you can click to your crew as well there's there's Leah there's Milton hanging around don't know what he's up to there uh, in fact I don't know what any of them are they're just sort of chilling out in the uh, in the city of salt hole um, Timur the medical medic guy and Trista our guard 
and she's having a chat with someone there which is all cool so they're in the station now if I go back to the skipper what I can do here let's just get off that is control these guys and put them on their stations now this is the key in my opinion to surviving the early stages of the campaign you want your electrician to be on your reactor so you can click on that button there and you can get them to operate the reactor and hey why not let's just turn it on so she's going to come charging down now there she is she stops when I click on her because she assumes I'm taking control but let's go back to her so she's there now the other thing that you can get with your mechanic is you can get them to repair electrical systems but if you work on your um, mechanic guy he can actually repair both now they're not as good and I'll show you the skills in a minute at doing both the mechanic obviously is better at repairing mechanical gear but he can build up and repair electrical gear now what that means is whilst you're flying around in the ocean this guy's just looking for stuff to fix and you need that because it's going to get broken your medic obviously you can get them to run around and heal stuff but most of the time your crew is going to be in a pretty good shape so you can get them to man the top gun and again I'm only talking about the Dugon here so here comes Timo to manage that top gun and of course the security guide can fight off intruders but when there aren't any intruders you want him stopping them coming on board and that's sticking him in the bottom gun there you've then got the basics covered you got two guns on this sub both are manned you got a guy or girl walking around fixing stuff and you got someone that preferably the uh, or definitely the electrician in there manning the, the reactor because the reactor is a sensitive little thing it's more efficient if someone's um, managing it but also they can switch out the fuel rods and just deal with any issues that might occur because if something happens to your reactor you're just a piece of metal floating below a very cold sea with lots of beasts that want to kill you now that means that you can walk around and do whatever you want you can play with your inventory uh, once you've got the ship moving you can um, and by the way to do that you just click into so if I wanted to sail off somewhere I could click into there'd be other cities there if I had some missions on I'd pick that and I, I use the manual steer and you can run off and then start doing your own thing but again we'll get into that in the story now the final thing I wanted to show you before I stop the video um, for this uh, session is the various skills this took me ages to work out I had to google it but it's actually really cool um, you can click on each of your uh, crew members and it tells you what they do so there's the captain there's the engineer there's the mechanic there's the medical doctor and there's a security officer and underneath you've got trace so it's really good the security officer is fearful that's an awesome trait for someone that's supposed to fight monsters uh, and then the rest of the crew's traits are crazy so uh, really concerning mix of crew here but uh, that's kind of the charm of the game things have got to go run otherwise it would be fairly boring but looking at the captain here which is the main character I guess you probably play with the most if if you like to if you like to uh, manage people like I do uh, not in real life I might add just in the games um, uh, you can see their skills down here I'm just quickly going through this they've all got the same skills the best of my knowledge yeah um, so helm pretty self-explanatory the captain you expect to be the highest weapons also high for the captain and then en electrical engineering mechanical engineering and medical down the bottom and as you flick to the different characters obviously the doctor's got better medical but also weapons and you'd obviously find that the security person for example has decent weapons and you can guess mechanic is mechanical um, and uh, the engineer is top-notch at fixing electrical stuff but what I've been doing is working on the mechanic who's now almost equal with the uh, electrical engineering as he is mechanical stuff um, because they level pretty fast in the campaign and I want this guy to just run around the ship and uh, repair whatever's broken so as they do more of the thing you're asking them to do their skill will improve so there you have it very quick summary of the of the game I'm going to be playing the solo campaign as I mentioned I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you if you're interested in it maybe subscribe um, and I will see you all later enjoy Mezzo out